Hi, this is Leslie Rodriguez with Weikert Realtors, and I am at Montebello Condos at my latest listing, 5904 Mount Eagle Drive, Unit 309, and we're going to take a little tour. Um, of course, if you would like to see this another time, either live or through a Zoom showing, be happy to do that. Um, so let's get started. So as we come in from the foyer, you'll notice that we have a huge sliding glass door that leads out to the balcony. And we are going to take a good look at that balcony in just a minute, but meanwhile, let's take a look at the dining room. Um, this accommodates a four-seater table very easily. That's a small dinette set right there. Um, the living room is quite large. It's a nice square shape, so it's easy for placing your furniture. And it does have a closet, an extra closet. That's not the coat closet, that's an extra one. Uh, the kitchen is a good size. Um, you will see that it does have original cabinetry, so it is ready for painting and hardware, or you can simply replace them. On this wall, we do have a pantry, good size pantry for shelving. If you were to renovate the kitchen, that wall actually could come all the way down or halfway down. I would recommend halfway down. The appliances have all been replaced recently, other than the exhaust hood. And you'll see that we have the typical L-shaped kitchen that Montebello Kitchens have, uh, newer washer dryer and refrigerator, and then we have an extra side here where you could put another cabinet. Um, the builder thought everybody would want to sit in the kitchen to eat, but of course you wouldn't because you have dining room here and you have room on the balcony. So this is a 12 by seven foot balcony. As all of our balconies have, it has the three sliding glass doors all of which open up, so it gives you this screened-in porch effect. And if this is big enough to easily accommodate maybe a dinette set over here or a desk. I personally have a balcony half this size, and I have my office out there, as well as recliner, and two more chairs and shelving. So you can fit a lot out here. The view, as you can see, is of the common area in front of the building. Directly across the parking lot is Picnic Hill. And immediately to the left, you can't see it, uh, is the community center. So this is very close to the community center with all of the amenities, which of course are going to be renovated. So it's a very pretty view. And as we come back through the living room, we'll head back to the foyer where I actually came in. And you will see that we do have here the coat closet. So there's a coat closet here. This closet is for the heat pump, which is only about two years old. Um, everything is pretty new in this condo. As we enter the bedroom, we have over here on the left, yet another closet. Um, the bathroom is a split style, sort of the hotel style. So here we have the toilet and instead of a tub, we have a shower. So it takes up the same amount of space as the tub did originally. So it is a really good sized shower, not one of those small coffin like showers. So easy access. And then over here we have the vanity with a double medicine cabinet. The vanity has been replaced and you do have good drawers. And then the door to the bedroom. Before that, we have the walk in closet. Um, I call this a walk-through closet. You come in this door and then it goes, we have shelving over here. It goes around the corner and more shelving there. This does have two rods for hanging, quite frankly. That top one is for the out of season clothes. The lower one is for the in season clothes and then you would switch them out. Uh, the bedroom is um, a good sized. What's really unique about it is that it does have its own sliding glass door leading out to the balcony. And that's why it has curtains on it because you might want to close the curtains um, for privacy. And you can see a nice view from the balcony here. I forgot to mention that balcony does have a ceiling fan. It's never going to get particularly hot here because you have the trees all around, but you do have that option there. I do use my own ceiling fan a lot, but I don't have any trees around my unit. So here we are headed back towards the living room. The listing does have a copy of the floor plan on it. 
And here we are back to the living room. One of the reasons why this feels so bright is the fact that you have the triple sliding glass door leading out to the balcony. So one more look at the balcony. When you're on the third floor, we call this the treehouse view because you're right in the treetops. Of course, they were much smaller when Montebello started. We do have vertical blinds on all of the windows if you wanted to close them. I don't know that I would ever actually bother, but you do have the option here. So please let me know if you'd like to have a personal tour of this wonderful condo. Bye-bye.